it's a dream come true for uh, team aditya l1 and i'm extremely happy that aditya l1 is uh, injected into the intended orbit flawlessly by pslv as always and aditya l1 has started its 125 days of long journey towards l1 once the aditya is commissioned it will be an asset to the heliophysics of the country and even to the global scientific fraternity and i take this opportunity to thank chairman isro uh, director ursc and former director ursc and all the center directors for their support and guidance for making this mission possible magnificent lift off of pslv c57 with aditya l1 on board ISRO's Aditya L1 mission is a pioneering solar probe to understand the sun and its profound impact on earth. Aditya L1 which is India's first solar mission successfully performed its first earthbound maneuver. 1 hour after lift off on the 2nd of September, the solar probe successfully separated from the PSLV C57 rocket and is now orbiting around earth. Currently it follows an elliptical path with its closest point to earth at approximately 235 kilometers and its farthest point at 19500 kilometers. To refine its trajectories the probe is scheduled to perform another maneuver which will bring it into an orbit with a closest point of approximately 245 kilometers to earth and a farthest point of 22459 kilometers. Aditya L1 is bound to slingshot on its mission to explore the sun, focusing on its corona and solar flares till it reaches the first Lagrange point known as L1. L1 will provide Aditya L1 a unique vantage point between the sun and the earth. This location is strategically chosen to facilitate continuous observations of the sun. However, sustaining a stable orbit at L1 is inherently challenging due to its instability. जब हमने 2 सितंबर को उसका प्रक्षेपण किया तो उसको ट्रांजिशन ऑर्बिट में रखा था 235 बाय 19,000 किलोमीटर रफली तो उसके बाद उसका जो पहला अर्थ बर्न है वो भी नेक्स्ट डे हो गया था 3 सितंबर को तो उसके बाद उसका ऑर्बिट अभी अगेन हमने बढ़ाया है तो इस तरह से उसका ऑर्बिट बढ़ाते हुए चार या पांच अर्थ बर्न करने के बाद उसको सूर्य की ओर रवाना किया जाएगा और जैसा कि आपको पता ही है कि लेग्रेंजे पॉइंट एल पे उसको जाना है जो कि यहां से लगभग 15 लाख किलोमीटर दूर है और जो कि सूर्य का डिस्टेंस देखे तो वो तो 1500 लाख किलोमीटर है उसमें हम 15 लाख किलोमीटर मीन 1 परसेंट ही उसका जाएंगे एल वन पॉइंट तक जाते जाते हम खाली एक प्रतिशत ही कवर करेंगे सूर्य की दूरी का उसके बाद हम वहां उसको हेलो ऑर्बिट में प्रक्षेपित करेंगे सो वो फिर बाद में वहां से कॉन्स्टेंटली सूर्य की ओर देखता रहेगा और सूर्य के बारे में अलग प्रकार के जो प्रशिक्षण है वो करता रहेगा जो इन्फॉर्मेशन है कलेक्ट करता रहेगा और वो डेटा हमको यहाँ पृथ्वी पे मिलता रहेगा नेक्स्ट पांच सालों तक तो ये ये मिशन की महत्ता है और उससे उसके जो सात इंस्ट्रूमेंट है सात उस पर जो सेंसर्स पेलोड लगे हैं वो अलग अलग डोमेन्स में अपना कार्य करते रहेंगे और सातों से हमको काफी महत्वपूर्ण जानकारी मिलने वाली है तो हम सब पूरी उत्सुकता के साथ इस दिन की राह देख रहे हैं। Reaching and maintaining Aditya L1 in the L1 orbit is a complex task requiring precision. Orbit determination is an accurate calculation which is essential for pinpointing the spacecraft's current and future positions to ensure its trajectory remains on track. Minor deviations can be lethal for the entire mission. Recognizing the importance of precise orbital determination, ISRO initially developed its own software for this task. However, due to the inherent risks and the need for near flawless execution in the Aditya L1 mission, ISRO partnered with the European Space Agency to validate the complex orbit determination software. Uh, this mission is very important as far as uh, space community is concerned. Uh, the planet Earth and our own existence is totally dependent on the sun the energy which is radiated from the sun which uh, gets transformed in various forms and is uh, contributing to sustenance of life on the earth 
and uh, also the energy sources are being activated, weather and climate change phenomena are triggered and so on. So that way it is important to know the uh, behavior of this solar system in detail. <coughs> Ground-based uh, observatories are there. They have selected a point, the Lagrangian point they call it, uh, there is a point where the gravitational field of Earth and gravitational field of uh, solar s sun um, virtually cancels, and uh, with the minimum uh, fuel, uh, we can maintain a spacecraft there. After a journey of 125 days, Aditya L1 will join the European Space Agency's Solar Heliospheric Observatory, which has been at L1 since 1996. But it has reported that the pointing mechanism of the SOHO satellite's high-gain antenna is having issues. If not fixed, these issues could lead to periodic blackouts, leaving Earth outside the antenna's beam every three months. ISRO aims to fill in this data loss with its advanced X-band telemetric instruments on board the Aditya L1. For relaying information, Aditya L1 uses X-band frequency over the previous S-band in terms of reliable and uninterrupted communication over long distances. This upgrade aligns with global standards for missions that venture beyond Earth's sphere of influence. The higher frequency of X-band compared to S-band ensures that Aditya L1 can maintain efficient communication even at its considerable distance of 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. Over the next five years, Aditya L1 seeks to study the Sun's outermost layer, the corona. The corona, composed of solar plasma, is predominantly made of hydrogen and helium. It exhibits temperatures that soar to several million degrees Celsius. This extreme temperature difference with the Sun's cooler surface, called the photosphere, has confused scientists with a phenomena known as the solar coronal heating problem. The Sun's intense corona heat isn't usually visible, but it shows up during solar eclipses or with special tools like coronagraphs. Aditya L1 will provide an unobstructed view of the Sun, never blocked by the Earth's eclipses. The Visible Emission Line Coronagraph, or VELC, which is the prime payload on board Aditya L1, is set to analyze the corona in greater detail and study its behavior in the unpredictable bursts. We have delivered the, the main instrument on this particular mission, that is the Visible Emission Line Coronagraph. This is basically the coronagraph, which would mean that this will make an eclipse, total solar eclipse, all the time. And since it is in the L1, where it will give an unobstructed view of the sun, it will see the sun in eclipse all the time. Now, why do you want to see the eclipse, uh, sun in eclipse all the time? The question is, you have to see the corona, and when, where it originates, and where does this coronal mass ejections originate. So this will be the mission for the first time, looking at the most inner part of the corona, where no other missions could actually have seen. So that's the most important part of this uh, particular instrument, VLC. Along with other instruments, it will also study the sun, the corona, the, the solar wind, the space weather, etc. The VELC will provide insights into coronal mass ejections and its impacts on space weather research and forecasting. It will allow close-up imaging of the corona from its lower part up to 1.05 times the solar radius. This level of detail in coronal observations is exceptional in understanding the sun's behavior. The main purpose of this thing, it will give you an eclipsed uh, sun always, which you can't get naturally. So when, you, uh, when some eclipse happens, then only the, our scientists, uh, they have to run with backpacks to that place and then they may get to see the sun or not because of the uh, weather and other things like clouds and other things. But whereas this instrument uh, standing at the L1, it will enable continuous observing of the sun and corona and it will uh, feed corona. And the other co-passengers also are there like uh, 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 so SUVIT, that is the Solar Disk Imaging uh, Telescope and uh, um, and, uh, whereas that is a, a complement to this instrument, like uh, that will observe only the this one uh, uh, disk light, whereas this will observe the, only the coronal light. So uh, in one uh, mission you are getting both uh, disk light as well as coronal light. Aditya L1's magnetic field instrument is vital for understanding the sun's magnetic fields and their connection to coronal mass ejections. These are massive releases of plasma and magnetic energy from the sun's corona 
that have the potential to disrupt the Earth's magnetosphere. This in turn affects satellites and poses risks to astronauts in the International Space Station. Aditya L1 aims to improve our understanding of these solar events for better prediction and preparedness. Studying the Sun from space is essential because the Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field serve as protective shields that block out harmful solar radiations such as UV light. These shields, while vital for our safety, limit the scope of observations conducted from Earth. Combining ground-based telescopes with solar probes like Aditya L1 provides a comprehensive view of the Sun and its activities in early warnings of four potentially disruptive solar events that affect life on Earth.